So in the denominator, we got the d square and for type two, we used to substitute d square equal to minus of a square. In our case, a is one, so one. So we are going to substitute d square equal to minus one. So we can substitute d square equal to minus one in this part. So it will become minus one and minus one. So this part is not creating any problem, which is equal to minus two. When we substitute to minus one in this, so it will become minus one and plus one. So this part is creating problem. Since this part is creating problem, we know that whenever we have cos ax plus b upon d square plus a square, the whole raised to r, when we have substituted d square equal to minus a square, this term was becoming zero. Then for that, the solution was given by x raised to r upon r factorial into minus one, the whole raised to r upon two a, the whole raised to r. In our case, r is two and a is one. And here we will again have cos of ax plus b plus r pi by two. So d plus one will remain as it is. This d square equal to minus one we are substituting here, so we get upon minus two into one upon d square plus one. The whole square will be replaced by this part, which is x raised to r. In our case, r is two upon two factorial into minus one the whole raised to r. Upon two into a, the whole raised to r. In our case, r is two into cos of a x plus b. A x plus b remain as it is, so x will remain as it is plus r into pi by two. This should be d plus one. Here we have two into one will become two, and two square will become four. Factorial of two is nothing but two, so four into two into minus two will be equal to minus sixteen. And this minus one, the whole square is nothing but one. So we get minus one upon sixteen into d plus one. Then here we have x square. So into x square, and here we have cos of x plus pi, which will be equal to cos of minus x. Okay. So here I am going to write minus cos x. So in the numerator, if we see minus and minus will become plus, and we get x square upon sixteen into d plus one into cos x. So if I take this x square inside and cos x also inside this bracket, I will get x square cos x into d upon 16 plus x square cos x upon 16. D means we have to take the derivative of this part. So now if we take the derivative of this part, this will become very complex. So in this sum, as you can see, I have done all this analysis, and after this, I have to take this derivative, which is u into v rule, which will be again complex. So for that, in this case, if you see here, we have d plus one into cos x. So first, we will take the derivative of this term, and then we will follow the procedure. So our y p was d plus one. Into cos x upon d square plus one, the whole square and d square minus one. So before applying the formula of type two, first we will simplify the numerator. So we will multiply cos x inside the bracket. We will get d cos x plus cos x upon d square plus one, the whole square. Into d square minus one. So till now, whatever I have done was to tell you that when the d is in the numerator, first take the derivative and then apply the formula of type two. Okay.